everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I am continuing with the phase two of detoxification. Um, some really important information I'm going to be covering here. First, I just want to mention quick that this is the last day I'm doing the flash sale for my next six week group. So along with all this fantastic information, you're going to get meal guides, grocery lists, accountability, which is huge. Oftentimes people are like, well, I kind of know what to do, but sometimes I always seem to get off track. I will make sure you do not get off track. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or if you have questions about why something's not working for you, more than happy to answer it. So click on the link there and you can jump in and join us. Um, but in talking about phase two of detoxification, continuation from the other couple of videos that I've done recently, and just talking about how the body works, um, detox is a thing that's thrown out there a lot, or you see like detox tea or drink this to cleanse and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's a lot of different types of detoxification. So I really want to make sure people are understanding the differences between them. So I am talking about how your body naturally goes through a detox. Now you can do a cleanse of some kind and you know, it's an intestinal cleanse and it's like a rotor rooter through your guts. Yeah that's different than what we're kind of talking about here. Um, this is really having your body go through these natural processes. Now, back up a minute, I will do, I just tried to be like Yoda for a second, sorry. Um, I don't have a filter on today and I'm really sad that I'm not wearing a funny hat or whatever, anyway, maybe tomorrow. When we talk about detoxification, why it's important to do that, your body goes through a detoxification every day. It's just designed to do that. You're, that's part of, you know, that's part of your liver. This is your liver, by the way. I drew a picture. <laughs> I'm not a great artist, but I can draw organs. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a picture of your liver. Um, now your liver is situated on the right side of your abdomen and is gonna be below your, um, right kind of below your rib cage there. Um, so just kind of sits right there and, and it's, it does its detox thing every day, all day. So phase one, phase two are the main phases of detoxification in the body and your body does this all the time. Now where this gets to be a problem is if your body gets overloaded and it can't keep up with the amount of junk bombarding in and you need extra detoxification. So normally this is supposed to happen just easy peasy all day long without you even thinking about it. Yes, thank you. Great. But if your body gets overloaded and bombarded, then it's going to be really tough to keep up. So what that means is, is that that extra toxic junk, this can be excess hormones, um, stress hormones, things like that, anything in the environment that you're exposed to. There's so many different things that get locked within the body. Now, this happens because those toxins are fat soluble. So they get stored in either, you know, nervous tissue like brain tissue or your organs, your um like reproductive organs or fat t tissue, things like that. So when there's an overload, so say you go through a big event or you go through a move and you change jobs and then you have a breakup or, you know, life happens, it hits the fan and it happens, right? Now your body stress levels are going to rise. Your the phase one, phase two of detoxification is not going to be happening normally. So that's where you get an overload, and you really need to focus on cleansing. This is how this process happens naturally in the body, and just a few things to kind of help work with it as it as it goes. So I'm just gonna. There are ways to boost detoxification to really get your body when you're it's overloaded. That's different a little bit than what I'm talking about here. So if you have questions on that, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer that. But when we talk about phase two of detox, um, really your liver goes through and does this naturally all the time. It needs sulfur-containing amino acids. That's a basic thing it needs to go through and do that. <sighs> Sounds exciting, right? <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Who, what is that? Ah, here it is. Yep. Things like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, garlic, onion, these all contain the sulfur-containing amino acids. So by eating healthy, eating healthy, right? Eating cruciferous vegetables, you're going to be getting these sulfur-containing amino acids that help the liver break these down. Now the important thing in phase two, what the liver does is it will take those fat-soluble toxin things and convert it into water-soluble that way it can be excreted either through your urine, so you pee it out, or it goes through your bile and then into your stool. So that's how it exits the body. Without these things and converting it from the fat soluble to the water soluble, it's not gonna be able to exit the body. That fat, you know, like oil and water don't mix. 
right? And, and the oil would be the fat and then water. So it's not going to mix and, and be able to be pulled out of the body. You have to have that conversion happen in the liver from fat soluble to water soluble, then it can exit the body. So basic process that happens all the time without you even thinking about it, which is wonderful. Thank you, liver. So be nice to your liver. It's a Friday, it's a weekend, so sometimes people aren't nice to their livers on the weekends. So maybe be nice to it and include some of these cruciferous vegetables over the weekend, boost that up a little bit, help your liver out, help it go through these phases of detoxification, because alcohol is one of the things that can uh, be toxic to the body. Just to just throw, throwing that out there, just saying. Um, but again, your body's designed to process through this really, really well. It is only when it gets overloaded that it's a problem. So if you have questions on that, please don't hesitate to message me or comment below. And then if you would share this video so people can understand more about phase two of detoxification. Um, I'm trying to make it really, you know, as simple as possible with giving you a little bit more information on it. Um, cause there's so much stuff out there and oftentimes I feel like people get confused on, well, I want to do a detox or I want to do a cleanse or I want to feel healthier. Great. But it depends on what you're looking to do. Like I, you know, if you're having intestinal issues and you're really constipated and you're not going to the bathroom, an intestinal cleanse would be appropriate at that time. Yeah. If you're like, you know, I'm feeling sluggish, I'm feeling fatigued, I don't have energy, I'm not losing weight, da 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 Different types of detoxification are going to be more appropriate and get you the right results. So it's all about matching up what you want with what's going on. Whew. Okay, that's all I have for today. Um, everybody have a great Friday. Friday. Oh, it's so funny when people post Friday on Facebook. I think it's funny. Like, yay. <laughs> yay, it is Friday. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Um, let me know if you guys have questions. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow.